Dear colleagues, in this video, I am going to demonstrate my lens tilt technique. By this time, the main incision has been placed. Now, viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and it is spread over the epithelial surface of the cornea for better visibility and to protect the ocular surface. Now this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. Now capsular axis is to be done. This is a 26 gaze bent cystitum. I make this cystitum myself. Now, with the help of a uterata forceps, capsular axis is attempted. At 3 o'clock, it tended to go to the periphery. It was retrieved and the rexis was completed. Now, hydrodissection is done with balanced salt solution. Here it is. This is a 27 gauge cannula. PSS is passed from one equator and it goes to the other equator. And now the this is one more hydro to prolapse on equator of the cataractus lens out of the capsular bag. Now viscoelastic substance has been placed. Now it's time to attack this prolapsed nucleus. Here it is. One area including equator has been emulsified. Now the nucleus tumbles and it is very minimal ultrasonic energy is required to work on to emulsify this nucleus and in no time the nucleus is taken out. Now think if I tried divide and conquer technique in this soft cataract how long I had to try and how long I would work with ultrasonic energy inside the anterior chamber. So, the sooner we learn this lens tilt technique, the better we can protect the corneal endothelium. And it is a very safe technique. One equator of the cataractus lens supports the posterior capsule while you emulsify the other equator. By this time, cortical cleanup has been done. Now, little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is being done. That's it. Now, in this case, we have selected a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens. And I have decided to implant the lens under irrigating fluid. This means the irrigation will keep the anterior chamber formed. The irrigating probe will be introduced through this. It has been introduced through the left side port and the eye well is injected in the anterior chamber. And now, in this case, the leading haptic didn't go into the capsular bag. The trailing haptic has been placed in the capsular bag. Now, the lens, intraocular lens is rotated a little bit with this help of a Sinsky hook. And I'm ready to depress this 
haptic optic junction here it is I depress this and with the help of the Sinsky hook I send the haptic into the equator of the capsular bag I moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber now hydration of the side ports are done to make these wounds watertight and a final wash is given with BSS and the anterior chamber is formed in this way and now we must check whether the wounds are watertight or not I found that there is some leakage through the left side port so I hydrate it again and as I hydrate some fluid goes into the anterior chamber so I wash the anterior chamber again this is the final lavage of anterior chamber thank you very much hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills